Hello. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, today we'll be covering the eight great reasons to consider clinical thermography for breast screening. Hi, my name is Deka King and I am a holistic breast specialist and atropathic doctor here in the Houston Katy area. So the reason I put this together is because one of the worst pains that I have experienced aside from childbirth was when I had my first mammogram. I was young and my breasts were tender and after a horrific experience, I refused to have another mammogram. Many women with dense breasts or fibrous breasts can relate to this because mammography has to compress your breasts to the thickness of a pancake almost. It is not only uncomfortable, but it can be very painful and a huge put off to a lot of women. So today I wanted to share eight great reasons you might consider thermography screening um, as a way of monitoring your breast health. So before we get started, I just wanna show you what the camera looks like that we use for thermography screening. So this is just basically like taking a photo shoot and the images are projected onto the laptop that we use to capture those screenings, those images. So let's go ahead and get started. Reason number one, there is no pain with thermography. If your breasts are always tender or you have dense or fibrous breasts, which a lot of you know, younger ladies have, then mammography can be very painful. Because there's no compression with thermography, there's no concern. Thermography cameras are highly sensitive and can be uh, just a few feet away from the client, just basically for imaging purposes, meaning that it never touches them. Never, is, the camera is never going to touch you. Reason number two, there's no radiation. Each mammogram exposes a breast to ionizing radiation, and this type of radiation is cumulative, which means that the more you have it, the more you keep. And it also increases the rate of breast cancer. Thermography screening does not emit any radiation because it uses a temperature gradient to look at function of the breast. So we're looking at function where a mammography is looking for structures, looking for what's already there. Reason number three, we're able to screen the entire breast and we're able to screen breasts of all sizes. So women with larger breasts typically end up with an inconclusive mammogram or have difficulty screening their entire breast. So sometimes they'll go for a mammogram, then another mammogram, then they have to do ultrasounds, then they have to do something else because there's so much breast tissue that a mammogram just cannot capture all of it. And so many times they come back with an inconclusive reading. Because thermography camera is a few feet away and patients are placed in several positions to visualize the entire breast, this is not a problem. Number four, it is safe for breast implants. This is one of the concerns that many women with implants have. So most women with implants are concerned with the compression associated with mammography against their breast implants. The risk of rupturing the breast implants with thermography is removed because there is no compression to the breast. Reason number five is a great way to evaluate the chest wall after a mastectomy. A mastectomy is just the removal of a breast uh, because of suspicions of breast cancer or just because there is breast cancer. After a mastectomy, it is important to continue to evaluate the chest wall because there may, you know, some tissue might have been left behind, like some breast tissue. Um, and so that can put a woman at a slight risk of having breast cancer recurrence. Evaluating with thermography is an excellent way to look at the function in the area without the exposure to radiation, number one, or compression um, of any breast tissue or implant. And plus, it's very difficult to screen with mammography in an area where there is, isn't a lot of tissue. Number six, you are young, uh, but you have a family history of breast cancer. Because annual breast screenings um, are reserved for women over the age of 50, what is your option? Well, thermography is a great screening tool for women of all ages. And regardless of how many scans you get, you will not be exposed to radiation, uh, which has been documented to increase or even cause breast cancer. Number seven, thermography screening is independent of breast tissue. So what that means is that regardless of whether you have dense breasts, fibrocystic, 
cystic breasts, or just lumpy breasts, thermography is able to tell the difference, which means less chances of getting unnecessary biopsies. When you do a mammogram and your breast is like this, it's very difficult to see if there's anything in there. If it's like this, the same thing. The older you get, the softer your breasts become, and so it's easier for mammogram to capture something that is there. Um, and so what happens is if you get screened and there's, they believe that there's something in your breast, they can't tell whether it's just fibrocystic, so they have to go in and do a biopsy to validate their suspicion. With thermography, that is not a problem. We can tell this is inflammatory breast cancer, we can tell this is uh, fibrocystic uh, breast, and so on and so on. So the chances of a necessary surgery um, decreases with thermography screening. Reason number eight is thermography is a predictive tool. So unlike mammography that is just basically telling you what's already there, thermography is able to give you indications um, of what may be happening in your breast. So thermography is able to capture something in 90 days of a cell replicating where it takes 38 doubling of that one cell for us to be able to see with a mammogram. It, the, the cell has to grow between 4 billion to 10 billion cells in order for mammography to be able to capture uh, the structural um, composition of that one cell that turned into a tumor. Where with thermography, we're able to see that much, much earlier, giving you an opportunity to be proactive about your breast health. Another way that thermography can be predictive is by looking at other parts of your body. For example, the image on the left, um, you can see there is dental inflammation in the mouth. The important thing about this image is that there are eight teeth associated with breast cancer. And if we're seeing that there is inflammation in the mouth area and is draining because toxins are fat soluble, we wanna make sure that we're, we're able to take care of this matter before it gets into your breast. Secondly, the second image, this glove-like pattern is indication of uh, somebody who's diabetic. They may not even know that they're diabetic. So this is a really great way to show, hey, listen, you might need to go get tested. Uh, check your, your A1C to make sure that you're diabetic or that you're not diabetic. And so these are really great tools to sort of let somebody know that something else is going on in their system they may not be aware of. The one on the right, this is a T2 marker. It's just an indication of autoimmune, meaning your autoimmune system is activated, whether you have an autoimmune disease or whether your autoimmune is, is hypersensitive to something in the environment or something that you're doing. Um, this is a great indicator. Many times people don't even know that they have an autoimmune a concern. And so these are ways that thermography can let you know the client ahead of time that something is happening in your system. So I want to thank you so much for lending me your ear for a few minutes. And I said thank you. I just want to give you two ebooks that we have on our website. The first one is why you should consider a thermography screening. If you have additional questions, this ebook will answer those questions. And that can be found on our website at dakakingnd.com uh, backslash thermography dash Houston. Um, the second gift that I like to give you is a top 10 prevention tips for keeping your breast healthy. This is a great tool um, for giving you tips on how to keep your breast healthy. And this can be found at dakakingnd.com breast dash hell dash Houston. Um, it's a really great um, a tool that you can use and share with people um, in your family or even your friends. So if you like more information on what we do and how we can schedule you for thermography screening, once again, please visit our website at dakakingnd.com. You can call the office at 832-422-7271. And if you have additional questions, you can schedule a 50-minute discovery call. Um, and this just gives you an opportunity without interruption to just give you 50 minutes and answer your questions regarding thermography or anything else that we do in the office. Thank you so much. This is Deka King with um, Breast Thermography and Wellness, a holistic breast specialist and naturopathic doctor in the Houston, Katy area. Thank you so much.